these policies that turn away asylum seekers at the border have uh, immensely disparate impacts on black and brown people because those are the majority of people who are seeking asylum at the southern border. These are individuals who have crossed, um, in some cases, many countries to reach safety in the United States. In other cases, they are Mexican citizens who are fleeing violence in their own country and trying to reach safety in the United States. And this is the first and closest place they can turn to for that protection. And they also are being turned away under the Title 42 policy. Neither the Title 42 policy nor the migrant protection protocols involve a screening to understand why the person is fleeing their country. So people who are asylum seekers who are fleeing violence because of their gender identity, because they were victims of gender-based violence in their country, because they're a political dissident, they're being turned away without any kind of assessment by the government, by the US government, of their underlying asylum claim. Asylum seekers and migrants are returned back to border cities in Mexico, and they aren't required to remain in that city, but they do have to come back regularly for their court hearings. So in effect, people have to remain close to that port of entry so that they, they can go for their hearings. And in the past, what that's meant is that the people who target asylum seekers and migrants know that there are hearings at certain times of the day, certain days of the week, and that people have to cross, for instance, early in the morning to go to their hearing or they're returned late in the afternoon. And that has made them extremely vulnerable to kidnapping because at 4.30, a group of asylum seekers will be returned each day after their hearing, and they're very easy to target in that way. And the Biden administration has announced some steps it will take to try to make things safer. But unfortunately, um, many of these acts of violence are undertaken with the complicity of corrupt officials in Mexico with corrupt border agents or corrupt police, um, National Guard. And so it continues to be extremely worrying to us.